Hey everyone, it's me, Dirty Honey. So today we're going to be talking about something kind of serious, addiction. So if you have ever dealt with something like that, any kind of addiction, whatever it is, food, alcohol, cigarettes or tobacco, freaking other nasty drugs like speed or pills or whatever, I don't know what kind of shit drugs are, cocaine and heroin and stuff, you know, all the stuff that's just not good, man. And so, if you have an issue with that, like a lot of people do, I've had a couple of requests to talk about it just to kind of put it out there, and so I'm going to put my opinion on it or whatever. I personally have, I don't know that... I haven't ever really liked the attachment of the word addiction to anything I done other than smoking cigarettes which I was definitely addicted to uh, but alcohol I definitely I mean for sure I drink a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of beer and other alcoholic beverages through my million years of life but I don't do that anymore. And, I, and maybe I was addicted, it, kind of, at some level. But it, I don't connect with that same kind of addiction like I had with cigarettes to alcohol or any other drugs. Uh, or things that were like that. Maybe food, I guess, when I wasn't paying attention. But anyway, so the, the the addiction thing is a serious thing. And so I, 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 I did come to a point in my life where I was like, fuck this, alcohol is bullshit. I'm cutting this shit out and I stopped drinking because I guess I was addicted, but I just didn't have it the same as, as cigarettes, which are fucking way more difficult and way more addicting feeling to me than alcohol was. Although, what I'm about to say kind of shines light on how stupid I am because I was probably addicted by any other buddy's definition. Because when I came to the point of realizing where I think this is bullshit and I'm not going to do it anymore, it was because I felt like I needed to drink a six-pack or something just to fall asleep. And I had this little recollection of that. I'm like, dude, this is fucking bullshit. Fuck alcohol. I'm done with this shit. And that's when I... My brain was just not good with accepting its lack of being the boss or whatever and being you know, controlled by this other outside thing. Something like that in me broke, and I was like, fuck this, I'm done with that shit. And so I didn't, and then, so I stopped drinking, and then, but but I was still smoking cigarettes, and cigarettes took forever, on and off, on and off. So many different types of quitting, and different ways to do it. I tried that eventually I just cold turkeyed it, that was the one that worked. Although I did cold turkey it a few times before that, and, and that shit's hard. The thing with cigarettes is it's socially acceptable, at least back when I was doing it. It's less now, but back then it was like, whatever, dude. You smoke cigarettes, oh, fucking what? You go to the grocery store, you can smoke it at the bar, you go wherever you go. Nobody cares. So it was like this addiction that everybody didn't give a shit about, but it totally fucks you up. And that made it more difficult to quit because it was so easily and socially, easily, readily available and socially acceptable at the same time. And then I had a situation a few years back where I hurt my back at work doing something totally stupid. Reach in the back of the truck, grab something. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Damn. Oh, that was okay. I'll work through it. All right. Then the next day, went to pick up something. <laughs> oh, dude, fell to the fucking ground, dude. I don't know what happened. I was out for six fucking months, dude. This shit laid my ass out. Back pain is no fucking joke. I couldn't brush my teeth, dude. I couldn't do anything that you need to do to maintain your body. Like, for real, bro. This shit was out of control pain, dude. You, your back controls everything. So anyways, when that happened, I was fucking floored. Like, literally floored. Couldn't get off the ground for... However long, I can't remember when it initially happened. I'm talking hours, dude. And so anyways, I started pounding the Tylenol, dude. Like, fuck this, I'm eating all this Tylenol for like a week or something. 
and then it just wasn't working and so I needed something that was more that was just more effective because that shit didn't work and so I went to the doctor which I rarely do but this shit was just fucking dude I mean, it was out of control, so I had, a, I went to this doctor that, it was, I think it was an urgent care, actually, and it was actually a referred doctor, or whatever, that somebody said that they knew, and so I went there, and he gave me some much stronger painkillers, or whatever, I can't remember what they were, but when I had them, they were something that's popular on the street for people who like to take that kind of shit, right? And I don't remember what they were called. But when I took them, I was following the the dosage and whatever that was prescribed to me. There was two different ones, too. One was, you know, like the lighter one, and one was like the super heavy one. Both of them were fucking insane heavy to me, though, dude. I was like, oh, my God, dude. I felt like I was going to pass out or some shit. Heart all fucked <laughs> Like, it was not a cool feeling. <laughs> I don't know how people get addicted to that shit. But anyways, I had to take it for the pain. But it was so gnarly like that and too much that I was just like, fuck this. And I stopped taking it. Oh, but the doctor, the reason the doctor gave me that is that he told me I was going to fucking kill myself by taking too much Tylenol. Tylenol is, you know, mild or whatever, but the shit will shut your kidneys down or your your, I think it's your kidneys, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, he said it was your kidneys, dude, are going to stop working, you, he told me never take Tylenol again for, or, you know, for this amount of time until this whole spell of back pain and shit, and you should switch back and forth from Tylenol to ibuprofen so that your body doesn't freak out, because your, your kidneys can only handle processing so much of that, and he said I was like way overdoing it and so that he's like take this instead it's a much stronger one and there's two of them this one's pretty strong this one's super strong when you need it and it's not going to do the things that to your kidneys that, that Tylenol is doing by just dumping all this shit in there so remember that Tylenol is okay but don't overdo it and I think the maximum daily dose is like 1700 milligrams or something like that and that's not something you should be doing every single day. You need to skip a day. So do, in a worst case scenario, like the 1,700, I think. Look it up. Don't take my advice. Maybe it's 1,200 a day. And then the next day, ibuprofen or Motrin or something. And then back and forth. If you need to do that and you don't want to go to the doctor to do, take this hardcore shit that, fuck, dude, I recommend against. Anyways, I took that stuff for like a week, and then I was just like, dude, I can't handle this shit anymore. It's making my fucking heart feel like it's going to explode and shit. Whatever, dude. I get all freaking passy outy feeling when I'm driving. Fuck this. I'm quitting, and so I'm not taking this anymore, and I'm just going to deal with the pain and smoke bowls. That's it. Done. And when I stopped, I had only been taking this for like a week, maybe two weeks, on the scheduled dose, scheduled whatever, and only as needed for pain. Bro, when I tried to stop taking it, my body just fucking hated me, dude. I swear to God, it was only like two weeks, and I was like fucking feeling like I was going to throw up and shit because I didn't, and I can only liken it to some sort of withdrawal from that, from not taking that after taking it for two weeks. So I super sympathize with people who are addicted to that shit trying to quit fuck that shit is way harder than you would anticipate for the average person who might not have a clue i you know whatever stepped my foot into it because of that and oh my god dude i didn't want to take it but my body was like fuck this shit i need that now don't mess with that kind of shit dude it's very hard to quit i didn't get all involved in it but even after two weeks it was super hard for me personally tobacco cigarettes was the most difficult addiction to quit and so as far as what to do for quitting, I'm recommending changing your mindset. For one, you got to tell, you have to set, or what I did, you don't have to do anything, okay? But what I did is set, what I think is the best thing to do is set yourself rules. Step out of the world and say, look, dude, fucker, look yourself in the mirror and be like, look, dude, this is what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm the king of, my brain is the king of the decisions of, uh, or my mind is the king of the decisions that I make, okay, I'm not doing this shit, no matter how the fuck much my body tells me it wants it, I'm the, this is what makes the decisions, 
And so you need to get that commitment to yourself and make yourself know that you're strong. This is not going to be easy. You know it's not going to be easy, but you know it's for the right reason. You're doing this shit because you need to. And focus on the things that you know you don't like about that shit, whatever the fuck it is. Because I know when I was smoking, I was like, dude, fucking hate this shit. God damn, my throat fucking stinks. Fuck, just sucks, bro. You don't like it, and you still have to do it. Fuck that. That whole I still have to do it, that's the part you need to arrest. That's the part you need to punch in the fucking face. That's the part you need to cut the shit down, okay, is the part where that takes control and makes you do something. You sh- that's the part that I had to, uh, to, to attack. The part where my brain wasn't strong enough or capable enough to make decisions that it knows are good for itself. Fuck that. That is the thing that made me or enabled me to go through with like cigarette quitting and whatever. Or the thing that I think will give, empower your mind to, or help to empower your mind to know that this is something bigger and what the root of the, the importance of this thing is, is being able to make decisions that you know are good for you and no matter how difficult those decisions are and they continue to be on a daily basis okay i get it and so how do you do that you have to change you know make that commitment that's something between you and yourself that you have to do okay you can't lie to yourself dude on everything okay that's a lot about any of the shit that i talk about is being honest with yourself because fuck everyone else's opinion so you be honest with yourself, tell yourself this is bullshit, I'm not doing it anymore, fuck that, I'm stronger than this stupid fucking habit, and then find something to replace it, find some. your mind is super powerful, if you can focus your mind on something and find something that your mind likes, that can, because it's not like you do this addiction thing like 24-7 every fucking second of the day. There's sections of your time in the day where you're like, okay, and you're not thinking about that, and you're just doing your thing, right? And those sections might get smaller and smaller throughout time, but you have to make them bigger and bigger. And so you're going to wedge yourself into those little sections of time that are good for you, that you're doing something you enjoy, and you're not thinking about the thing you're trying to quit. Those times already exist in your life, in your day. Find those times and stretch them out. Notice what you're doing in those times when you're enjoying yourself without the thing that you don't like. And do more of that, whatever it is. If it's hard to think about something like that, remember when you were a kid. What the fuck did I do when I was a kid, dude? What did I enjoy when I was like 10, 12, 15, 20, whatever? Okay, what did you used to enjoy? Try and do that shit again. And if it's like, I can't do it because I'm out of shape, Okay, this is the second thing, actually, is is your diet and your exercise and your body's health is pretty much the primary goal by removing whatever habit it is we're trying to get rid of. It's typically trying to be removed because it's fucking up your health. Diet is a huge portion of your health and is also a huge portion of your peace. You can't have peace without body, mind, and spirit, okay, and body is one of those three things, is 33.333% of your peace, it's a super important portion, so you need to have clean body, so focus on that as well, change your, your entire health scheme, and maybe that will help to overlap and overlay like a big blanket the habit rather than just focusing, trying to pin that one fucking habit down and exchange it for something else. Try and blanket something over it, like diet change or something like that. Another way to do it is focusing on things like art. Things that require your brain to focus and don't necessarily work as well when they're under the influence or whatever of the thing you're trying to quit. Like how... You can't draw some shit when you're all fucking drunk. You can't do that, dude. You have to have a clear mind. And so having that clear mind, and it's enjoyable if that's something you get into, 
It's what I, I enjoy that. And so if you're into art, that's something. Otherwise, you can do even video games, dude. You go play a fucking video game and get all involved in that shit. And if it starts to feel like you're, you're like, oh, I need a cigarette, oh, I want to drink a beer, whatever, find a healthy alternative. Eat an apple. Drink water. I used to do that a lot. I still drink water a lot. But drink a ass ton of water until you're so full of water you couldn't even drink a beer if you wanted to. Okay? And just... Focus back on that thing about your mind is strong, dude. I'm the king of this shit. Fuck you. You're not going to tell me what to do. There's no fucking way. Make it your life mission, dude, to defeat that little piece of shit thing in your brain that's telling you to do something that it knows it's not good. That shit's fucking you up, and you know it is, so be bigger than that. Because you are, dude. You are bigger than that. I got some notes here. Let's see what I said. So yeah, focusing on something that's positive, puzzles, art, sports, um, yoga, anything that focuses your mind on something positive that's enjoyable and you don't even notice that, that addictive thing that you're trying to kick. And so they're, they're basically like impulses that you have to get through or these little waves and just conquer them one at a time too. So when it happens, it's like you can kind of feel like you know it's happening or you know it's coming or you like, oh, I'm thinking about it, but I don't feel it yet. Take that shit on head, out, head first, dude. It's either fight or flight. You need to fight every single time when it comes to this shit. If you start feeling it, fuck that shit, boom, start getting into something else right away and tackle that bitch before it gets anything big on your mind. You don't let that thing get the upper hand or it's going to be more difficult. Whap that shit out right when it starts to grow. A little, spra- a little freaking poke out of the dirt. Fuck that, we're pulling this little weed out. Boom, get out of my garden, bitch. All right, that's the kind of stuff you have to do. And replacing it with something positive like drinking water, doing yoga, m- meditating. I think there's alternatives to any of that stuff that you do. Like uh, smoking marijuana is something that I don't think is unhealthy like the things that you're probably feeling are. And it's not addictive like nicotine or alcohol or any of those hard drugs it's something that can put you at ease the same reason you drink alcohol it will give you a similar effect but without fucking killing your entire body and ruining your brain and making it so you'll drive 80 miles an hour the wrong way on the fucking freeway and not remember it you don't do that when you smoke a joint dude you kick it and enjoy some music and whatever you're gonna do eat a bunch of good stuff though And if you start to build that, you'll start to feel the benefit, and then it'll be much easier for you to continue moving forward with that, I think. You have to make it your mission, though. Just like everything, the world's not going to do it for you, okay? If anything, they're going to make it more difficult by offering that shit to you. Oh, you don't drink anymore? Here, have a beer, dude. Fuck you, dude. Get the fuck away. Don't hang out with those people. If you know there's going to be shit there that's going to make you do something you know you're not supposed to do or give you this gaping hole of an excuse, don't be stupid, dude. You're the king of your decisions. Make good ones, okay? You know what the fuck's going to happen. Tackle that thought as soon as it enters your brain. Stomp that shit out like it was a fucking cigarette butt. And th- and, and just fucking rub that shit in. No way, dude. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not going to go there because of this. Okay? Tell yourself, I'm doing this for one fucking year. Warn your friends, dude. Be like, hey, look. Dude, I'm doing this little fucking mission and shit. I'm not going to go to any of your, organiz- your fucking parties and shit for a whole year, dude. In one year from now... Uh, and then I'll start doing that again. But for now, I'm on this mission for me, and I'm making this shit happen. Okay? Tell them or not. Whatever. But you, you need to do that shit in your head and know that there is an end of the tunnel. Okay? There is light down there. You need to shoot for that shit one step at a time. Baby steps, big goal. Okay? Or medium, medium, baby goal is your daily stuff and then the the bigger picture goal is that that you know the end of the tunnel where it's like after a year and after doing it for a year probably you're going to be pretty well baked into that shit and and feel much more comfortable moving to the next year and, and beyond because why am i going to give up now i did it whole, for a whole year dude i got this shit wrapped you know because to the point now i would dude 
that shit's gross to me. It sounds nasty. I'm not attracted to any of those things at all. Zero <laughs> percent. Like, I just won't even do it. So, um, I mean, beer sounds good. I under, I understand. Beer's good, dude. Shit's hard to not do, but fucking, you don't have to, bro. You, there's other ways to do it, all right? And so, um, yeah, know you're bigger, stronger. Put your whole self into it. Focus on one step ahead. You're the king of your mind. You know, focusing on things that are good for you. Oh, and compliment yourself, dude. When you do it, fucking tell yourself, good job, dude. You see? Fuck this shit. I can do this. Fuck that. Nothing is going to take me down. Nothing's going to do this. I'm doing it again. Booyah. And I feel good about it. And when you start, if you include your diet, you start taking that shit out of your body. You start putting things like water into it. Guess what's going to happen? That water and all that good foods and to cleanse your body, dude, and rid it of that toxicity of whatever it is you're trying to kick, even if it's shit food that you're trying to kick, it's going to get rid of all that crap and you're going to start feeling good like your body was designed to do. And then you're going to get benefit in all those feelings that you were getting from that other thing out of life (laughs) and doing the things that you've been focusing on, like art, sports, whatever the fuck it is that you enjoy. And it's just a better thing. And guess what comes next? Peace. Because if you have body, which is what we're talking about, addiction fucks up your body. So don't deal with that. You get body and it makes it much easier to use your portion of your body called your brain to uh, attach your, or, you know, uh, clearly uh, drive your mind or whatever, experience your mind in search of your spirit. And that is peace, bro. It's super important. I know you understand that or you wouldn't watch this video for fucking 20 minutes. <laughs> Anyways, it's a difficult thing. Every single... Don't have shame either. Fuck that. Every person on the planet has some kind of addiction to something, potentially. I don't know if everyone does, okay? But we all understand, dude. We understand. It's the difficult part. You, you know, when you see somebody who's jogging down the street and it's like, dude, I know why this guy's jogging down the street. Good for you, bro. Fucking good for you. I'm not going to look at this person and be like, oh, what? I look at his fucking piece of shit. No, dude. I'm going to tell him he's fucking awesome because he's doing what the fuck he needs to do regardless of what anybody ever fucking thinks. And everyone thinks like that, I think, in the back of their mind at least. And if they don't, fuck them. It's all about getting you out of that pile of shit that you feel like you're in and washing it off so you can be the clean kick-ass person that you know you are so i think that's good if you have anything to say about this or questions or comments or whatever put it in the comments and i'll i i look at that stuff and i'll do my best or whatever i'll give you my opinion there you go uh but remember to also be nice dude this is part of body mind spirit okay when you're nice to people And just in general, it feels good, man. And you get good in return from those people you're being nice to. That helps fuel the fight in that whatever you're battling. Okay, so it's a good thing to be nice. It's just going to help you too. And so another thing also, body, mind, spirit, peace, all that shit. 91.5 FM on the radio, KUSC.org on the internet. This is just great, dude. This is a thing that you can use in contrast to your addiction or to replace it. You listen to this beautiful music and just meditate into that and away from whatever it is that you think you're hooked on and take those little hooks out of you and release them. It's going to be an awesome, beautiful thing. And even it doesn't even matter. And one way or the other, the music's kick ass. So anyways, thanks for watching. Like subscribe, you know, watch all the videos, tell people, dude, tell your friends, dude, everybody tell one person, bing, you gotta do that, all right, tell a friend to subscribe, next thing you know, I got a million and a half viewers, all right, we'll see you guys later, you are fucking awesome, badass, who, strong person who can do what it is you're trying to do, don't forget it, dirty honey told you, all right, if you need a reminder, watch this fucking video again, I'll tell you again when you watch it. All right, man. Be nice. See you guys later. Bye.